Hi, buddy. What up, Sean? Uh, how are you? Shunny Sunday? Sure. That's a thing you could say at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Your name is Sunny Sunday. I like it. What up, dog? Oh, not much. I'm wearing my wearing my favorite shorts. It's nice out. Bro, the fleece game on on fleek. We're gonna watch some ba- some baseball, not quite basketball, after this is done. Although we can watch basketball too. The Lynx play tonight. Oh Fucking dip. Sports are a thing. Also, Y'all, that, we've spent my joy fi- for the week. That's your what for the week? That's my joy for the week. Watching fucking sports ball again. Bro, the thing is, you know, we've had to make our own distractions. That's why motherfuckers like me out here making bread and shit. Oh, right. Now, I, now other people can distract us from how now, terrible everything is. <laughs> like, yes, exactly, is how I feel <laughs> about all of this sport trying to reignite. I mean, we're all... Wait, well, I missed it. I'm, I'm going to play it like 300 times this episode. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Terrific. Um, <laughs> we're only going to get two weeks of baseball, so like we got to relish it while it lasts. <sighs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you can always count on the WNBA to do things right, though. They'll get their whole season in at least. Well, and thankfully, like WNBA and NBA you got smaller rosters, right? It's generally like... Well, yeah, and they're not traveling all the time. I mean, that's the thing that's screwing everybody. But well, this is not a baseball podcast. What's, nor is it a, nor is it a WNBA podcast, though we could speak in depth be. about both of those things if we needed to. What's oh, uh, what's making your day happy, bud? Um, let's or see, you know, see. any of the previous like five days or so. Also, I think we um, forgot to do it on the Patreon, so you got like a whole week to pull from. Oh man, we got so much to pull from. All the joy. Um, I I got a new bike, Ooh. but it's but it's an old bike. Did you get your tube fixed? I have not gotten my tube fixed yet because when I brought it in, there was significantly more things fucked up with it than just the tube blowing. You know. So, of course, if you will, with the whole way things are. (laughs) um, But, hey, you know what? It's in my hands and it's in the bike shop getting its work done and I'll have it back in only about four weeks because that's how backed up they are because everyone's riding their bikes right now and buying bikes and getting bikes fixed and tuned up. Sure. So it sounds like I'm not very joyful about this thing because it's sort of a pain in the ass and that (laughs) is true. However, when I have my bike, I'll be very excited. So I was out for a run on Saturday came around a corner and saw a dude walking his bike down the middle of the road and first thought to myself, Damn, that boy big. And then I thought, yeah. and then I thought, What's damn, that, that boy, Ryan, I know that boy. And you had a flat tire. You were very sadly walking your bike down the street. I was sadly walking my bike like a small child. <laughs> like a big child. A big child. Very big child. <laughs> um, Mother truck. <trucker>, yeah. <laughs> That That's how I thought? felt when yeah. I blew my tire uh, on my first bike ride in three weeks after crashing my other bike before that. Yeah, man, you're not on a good biking streak right now. I'm not batting a thousand. I'll tell you that. I'm going to I'm going to close the shades on this window because I just looked at myself and I look like a fucking ghost man on the Zoom call. We can't. Have oh, that. yeah. You're you're uh, <laughs> you remember that show Touched by an Angel? <laughs> yeah, dog. that's me the, right now. I'm pale enough is, on my own. This is the moment the sun. (laughs) This is the moment where you revealed to me that all this time that you've been (laughs) my friend, that really you've been priming me to be like, hey, God's got a message for you. (laughs) I've been dead. I've been I've been. No, remember, angels aren't ghosts. Angels aren't dead people. Mm, I never (laughs) read the Bible. I'm going to say they are. (laughs) <laughs> I have. I'm gonna let you know they're not. But, but hey, you know what? God damn it! But I love hey, that you hate that laugh because now I'm gonna play it ten times more than God. I would have otherwise. This will be the thing. This will be the thing that actually finally motivates me to figure out my own sounder situation, so I can just drown out your sounders with my sounders. <laughs> We're both. It'll be eventually- a sounder bat- battle. We're both eventually going to be recording like 16 tracks of our own audio. Yes. 
<laughs> and it will be fully incomprehensible in every way, shape, and form. We're going to have like 32 track surround sound podcast mixes going a year from now. And it's going to be pumping through all of your individual uh, like $7 Apple AirBud earbuds. Airbuds. And none- Airbuds. <laughs> it's going to be pumping through your golden retrievers in no time. You got a golden retriever <laughs> in your AirBud. You should get it out. Oh, boy. Um, you want to talk about some weird shit? I'd fucking love to, man. This is okay. the this is like the third time in the last like six weeks that I legit have literally no idea what we're talking about today. What? Uh, <laughs> so that's back, me. That you, is you me. actually you actually do kind of know though because it's a follow up to a previous episode that we did. Oh shit! So you remember the Colorado slash Nebraska slash parts of Kansas drones? That people were seeing in December and January. Yeah, I do. Did we talk about that on the Patreon, or did we talk about that on the on the free show? I'm pretty sure we did a free show about it. Did we? I think so. To to quickly recap. Um, yeah, but let's bring everybody up to date. Uh, end of December into beginning of January 2020. So like seven months ago. Um, eight months ago, people in Colorado and then also in some neighboring states started reporting drones, um, that they were seeing at night. Usually I think it was between like 8 PM to midnight, basically like starting after dark and then going until about midnight. Yeah, that sounds about right. And they were... Uh, they were flying. Well, there were lots of reports. One common report was that people saw them flying in like grid patterns, like they were surveying almost. And people Didn't saw up to, I think 12 or more at one time. I was going to say, weren't they flying both like in flight patterns, but then also like moving like down and then over and then back and then down and then over and then back and then just like yeah. covering surface area basically. Yeah. Um, and I don't just to clarify the location a little bit. I don't know the exact, all the exact towns, but it was around that area where like Northeastern Colorado, Southwest Nebraska, Northwest Kansas, sort of where those three States intersect in sounds, about sounds was, brown. Uh maybe. I mean, probably in December and January. Um, and there was like a pretty pretty wide range of, uh or radius um in which people saw these things. And it was weird for a couple of reasons. One being that they were larger than like commercially available drones. Some people were reporting wingspans of six six feet or more. And people were reporting seeing them in the air for hours at a time. That's which crazy. Is also longer than any commercially available drone can stay in the air without recharging or refueling right now. Right. Right. And then in the middle of January, I think around the 13th or 14th, people just stopped seeing them or stopped reporting them at least. Yeah. And I remember the the volume in total was like, I don't remember a number, but there was like a lot of individual sightings over that time period, wasn't there? Yeah, I mean, I think it was in the hundreds. Yeah. So there is a gentleman by the name of um, Douglas Johnson who decided to file a bunch of FOIA requests for information about these drones because it was never, there was never an explanation. And when the reports stopped, the story just kind of stopped. Like this went from being a national news story to completely out of the news in a day, basically. Yeah. It was on like all the major news networks. Some of the newspapers picked it up. I remember, I remember there was like, one specific detail that was super weird about a local press agency that was looking for like 
an unmarked truck or van of some kind that yep. seemed to be in relationship to the drones, but no one could like confirm. Well, it was I, just all I think very people, weird. I think people were looking for, I mean, obviously the question was like, who is controlling these things? Right. Because legally you have to be, you have to have a clear line of sight to any recreational drones. Right. And that was not the case with these. Um, so people were trying to figure out, like, are these being remotely controlled uh, and from how far away and by whom? And there were never any answers, even though, like, the FAA and law enforcement and military agencies was, were all looking into it. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there was some, like, Department of Homeland Security stuff going on to look into it. Yeah. So the, or they said they were looking into it. The FAA was heading it up, but they were cooperating with law enforcement mostly who was getting these reports of sightings from individual civilians. I just had the thought, like <laughs> I've thought about this multiple times this year, but this is one of those years where like a bunch of fucked up shit just keeps happening and it just kind of like keeps pushing down things that are like, <laughs> interesting or crazy or whatever like in most years this would be like yeah what the fuck with that big crazy story and like what the fuck happened and it's just like no 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 we don't even have time to focus on how fucked up this is because there's a whole list of other shit that has just blown this out of the water because two days later kobe bryant died in a helicopter crash and what then we- the fuck man <laughs> like yes jesus christ and then a couple days after that something else stupid and horrible and crazy happened and it just keeps going for you know and then by february covid was was rumbling around and yeah and no one thought about the fucking unmarked vans and fucking mega drones that were covering a third of the country who are you so the faa uh or the foia uh requests that doug johnson filed resulted mostly in emails from the FAA. Okay. But he got hundreds of them. Hundreds of emails from within the FAA about these drones. Oh, as in like they turned over internal communications back and forth. So people being like, what do you know? Type shit. Internal and external. So their emails with law enforcement in Colorado, their emails with oh tight <laughs> with government employees, with all kinds of folks. And are you allowed to like once you've made a FOIA request, can you just pu- you can just publish that like yeah. online? Like it's public information at that point once it's been FOIA'd. Yeah. So uh the drive uh posted a bunch of these and then sort of like their summary of it with uh Brett Tingley is sort of the like the dude writing about this the most. Chuck Tingle, no relation. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe it's a pen name. It's his conspiracy theory journalist pen name. <laughs> Brett Tingley and Chuck Tingle. Unrelated. <laughs> so they they posted sort of a summary of this stuff and then links to the full PDF. Uh, FOIA requests or results of the FOIA request. Got it. So h- there's a lot of high points from the emails. Yeah. And there's a Got lot it. of stuff redacted from the emails, especially when they're going to external agencies or coming from external agencies. But there's a ton of stuff that is not redacted. I, S- sorry to interrupt. I just, no, go ahead. I, I, I already am intrigued by like, there being a ton of stuff redacted. Yeah. It's like, I mean, a lot of it is like names and email addresses and stuff. Okay. Um, there's not a ton of actual information that was redacted that I saw. Okay. Um, but like that would names, be pretty wild. addresses, email yeah. addresses, sure, stuff sure, like sure. That. Okay. phone numbers, that kind of stuff. If they were just like penning out full lines of text, I'd be like, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> yeah. But like the So I, I just clicked into the actual PDF for a second. And I mean, the first one, it's in three parts. 
Part one is 179 pages. Damn! Part two is 269. And part three is 160. So, I mean, we're talking like 500 pages of emails. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So the summary is very welcome. Yeah, right. Uh, I did not read those all 500 pages. I did scroll (laughs) through some of it. Um, So... The the takeaway is that the FAA never figured out what it was. Tight, 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 tight. And awesome. everything's fine. <laughs> uh, it says the FAA was unable to determine the origin of the flying formations of sizable aerial devices. So that's like the size thing is super weird to me because, bro, you got to say that sentence one more time. That is a wild sentence. The FAA was unable to determine the origin of the flying formations of sizable aerial devices. So, bro, that sentence is insane. <laughs> <laughs> like fucked. what? That was a bit fucked. <laughs> Basically, that was their conclusion. Is like that was fucked up, but mm, there's stuff yeah. in the air in patterns, and uh, yeah, we have no idea. <laughs> What? It's real big. Wait, what? Time out. <laughs> you, you guys are literally the only people who should have an idea. You can't not have any idea. That's literally your job. No, I can't stop yelling. <laughs> that's how I talk. I'm gonna hit that's you me. with that that's every me. time you get excited about something. That's me. I'm uh, it's just dash Ryan at the end of that. <laughs> so yeah, the formations part is obviously concerning, and then the size. I mean, they're they're not. You couldn't go buy a drone this big. No. And the size also implies that they're super fucking expensive. Um, And then the second part, they were, FAA officials were, however, able to conclude that there is, quote, high confidence these are not covert military activities. Okay. So it's shit that should only be. That's way worse. I know. (laughs) (laughs) That's way worse. (laughs) If they could have been like, yeah, we don't really know what it was, but the military's kind of being like, just shish, shish. I'd be like, all right, right, fine. But if they're like, yeah, no, we for sure don't know what it is. And neither do those guys. The only other guys who should know what it was. This is fucked. I'm trash. (laughs) (laughs) Because yeah. fucked. I mean, there are a size and a number of drones that, like, this is not just a person fucking around. This is not a group of people just fucking around. This is probably not a company, like a private company doing surveying or something. Because also, if it was, why wouldn't you then just say, like, when the FAA and the fucking FBI starts asking around, why wouldn't you just say, like, oh, yeah, that's us? Well, and if you were a private company, you would have figured out a way to do it in the first place. Like you would, you could just like, if you were a private company that had these devices and was looking to do this kind of surveying, you would just go to the FAA and get a fucking flight plan. Exactly. And be like, right. There's no reason to do it gonna, covertly. Yeah. Hey, yeah. FYI, we're going to be flying some drones to be surveying some area for insert, whatever fucking mining, fucking farming, fucking development, whatever. There's a bunch yeah. of different reasons you could do it, but there would be a very logical and very legal way to go about flying a bunch of drone formations over a bunch of fucking cities in the country. And it would include you communicating all of those intentions with the FAA and none of this ever being a fucking like mystery. Correct. Um, all right. Highlights of the actual emails. So basically their takeaway was like, we don't know. Um, their takeaway was the shrug emoji. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Why are you? Uh, yeah, we don't know. We asked the military. They said it's not them. Uh, good night and good luck. The FBI can't do anything because there are no laws being broken, and uh, we're out of ideas. I thought we said. I thought we agreed when we did talk about this last time that there's probably some laws being broken here. I mean, when the FAA went to the FBI about it. The FBI said, there's nothing we can do because it's not clear that there are any laws being broken. 
Got it. Whether right. you agree with that or not, that was their take on it. Got it. Um, that is also I, kind of wild that you can be flying giant, unidentified, invisible, fucking commercial-sized drones over American cities for and hours at a time like, for yeah. weeks on end. And and the FBI is like, yeah, it's, I mean, you know, that's kosher. <laughs> well, I mean, I think part of it is like there aren't a lot of laws on the books about this stuff yet. So, like, maybe it should be illegal, but you can't point to a law and say they're breaking section 3A of this law. That's part of what makes this so crazy to me, too, is there's not a lot of laws on the books about this stuff because, like, while, yes, there are a lot of, like, drone technology vendors in the world, like, we can go buy a drone on Amazon right now. The prevalence of the like really fucking high end, like really intense versions of this stuff is still not super commercialized, I would which is why it, there's not a lot of laws around it, because it's not something that any, you know, anybody can walk into a fucking Walmart and spend a hundred bucks on. The FAA does have rules about like the height that you can fly drones at and that you have to be within. You have to keep them in sight. That well, that was going to be my next question. Was like, if how how are they sure that no law was broken? If I mean, a lot of people were seeing these things pretty high up. I mean, f- with some of the video footage that we saw, like they were pretty high up. Yeah. And how can you guarantee if nobody ever found anybody related to these things that they were being monitored in the way that they're legally supposed to be? So part of the problem, and we'll get to it later, came down to. They're not sure what these were. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is the worst. This is just, it, it went from like being a, like a weird mystery to being like a, Oh fuck. What is going on? Mystery. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm, I want to read you sections of a few of these emails. Oh fuck. All right. Give it to me, bud. Cause some a, of them take a sip real quick. Get some ready. of them contain more specific accounts and descriptions of these things than was available when we talked about it six months ago. So this is uh, an email from the, this is within the FAA from, or no, I'm sorry. One of the first emails was from a Colorado unmanned aircraft systems intelligence analyst. So he worked for the state of Colorado to grant Von Letkerman, the second, at the FAA. So okay. this is someone who works for the state of Colorado emailing someone at the FAA saying, this thing is going on. Uh, please help. Yep. So he said, I got a call the other day about some UAS, which is unmanned aircraft system. UAS activity out in Phillips and Logan County. According to, according to reports on several occasions, victims have observed weird choice of words. Yeah. Victims have observed. Victims is the worst choice of war. This keeps getting worse. <laughs> I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm trash. Victims, victims have well have observed four to five foot drones outside of their residence windows, and it appears as though the operator is looking inside of their residence. On one occasion, one of the victims followed the drone down a country road as it left his, his house. We think the drone might have been using the road for navigation. However, it's strange that the victim reported that he followed the drone for approximately 40 miles. A Phillips County deputy also observed one of these drones and confirmed it was a rotary wing aircraft with lighting that appeared consistent with commercial drone retailers. While I found the 40 mile rotary part to be far fetched slash concerning, something seems to be happening because I've had reports of three more sightings the following nights since the initial incident with a new sighting happening just tonight in Logan County. Under the circumstances, I'm concerned that this information is going to spread to the media. The concern of the local community appears to be growing. Considering the apparent consistent operation with lack of line of sight and the nature of the UAS activity, is there a chance we could get the FAA's assistance with this issue? Damn! <laughs> Bro! Trucker, dude. 
So that's the email that kicked everything off at the FAA. Was this dude at the state of Colorado saying, I don't know what's happening, but it doesn't seem good. We've got drones looking in people's windows and then flying for 40 miles. And it's happening. It's happened three nights in a row. Bro, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> what was the estimate, the wingspan estimate again? He said five to eight feet across. Uh, no, four to five feet. Four to five feet across. Yep. I mean, that's fucking huge for a drone. Yes. Also, I don't think in any of the news stories that I saw about this the first time, was there a detail of these things fucking spying on people? Yeah. Uh -huh. Like that fucking, that detail sucks pretty bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> what? So, and also, bro, if you follow this thing down a dirt road for 40 miles, at what point did you just go, nah, <laughs> right? It's getting late. Time to turn it like, no, dude, that, that's like an fun. hour plus of driving on a dirt yeah, road on a dirt road. Of course it is like, at what point were you just like, all right, yeah, you got me. And, and you then just <laughs> fucking threw the towel in and drove home. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> to hunt it down. Oh, boy. Get more information. Uh, fuck, you're coming down here trying to scoop me up for my skin and yeah. water. I'll fucking fight you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this. So then on December 30th, there's a brief sent internally around the FAA. Um, and it goes like this. Reports of drone activity have come from both law enforcement and local citizens. Each agency contact advised at least one deputy has witnessed the activity. So we have, we had apparently multiple firsthand sightings from law enforcement agents in Colorado. Uh, reports indicate the drones have been flying in a grid pattern and have not been operating in a manner that placed persons on the ground in danger. I mean, depends Says on how who? you, yeah, yeah. It depends on how Says you define who? danger, but, uh, it wasn't uh swooping down at anybody visibly like, okay, <laughs> That's right. a, the, the scary thing about drones for me is like, I mean, at a base level, like if they, if those things, I mean, part of the reason you have to be able to see it at all times legally is because if they lose contact with their, um, with their controller or remote of whatever kind and, or run out of battery because of that fact, well, they fall out of the sky. Yeah. They can fall out of the sky. And if and this these things thing are six feet across, five feet across, yeah, it's yeah. going to fucking kill somebody. So I don't right. know that you could necessarily make an objective judgment that these things are posing no danger when they're a fucking I'm five foot danger. wide chunk of metal. <laughs> yeah. Like a five foot chunk of metal that no one knows where it's being operated from. I'd say it's pretty safely a dangerous thing to the citizens. <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck yeah, you did. Law enforcement personnel said the activity has been primarily between 6 and 10 p.m. And the number of drones reported operating at one time ranged from between 6 to, I'm sorry, between 2 and 16. They saw 16 of these things at once. And they're all 5 feet across. And appear to be approximately 6 feet in width and length. So there's there are six by six basically squares. Yes. And up to sixteen of them at a time. Bro, this sucks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. Big what trash. drone militias are fucking like haunting the country and nobody knows what they are? Get me out of here. E Flight, ti Flight time has been between two to three hours continuously. Uh, reports indicate flight is between two and 300 feet. However, several people interviewed said it was hard to determine height due to darkness and lack of cloud cover. Uh, sheriff from Washington County said drones were operating in adverse weather conditions with winds over 25 miles per hour. What? So these fuckers are strong. Dude, what? Are these like fucking Terminator drones? What is okay. happening? Hold on. 
<laughs> oh God. Sher- Sheriff also stated he could not confirm what he saw was drone activity because he could not hear a noise from the motor and could not identify anything more than a bright white light. Other okay. sightings. Hey. Other sightings lights were also reported to be that's a weird sentence. I think I think it means in other sightings, lights were also reported to be either flashing or steady red, white, or green. One report mentioned flashing blue lights. So red, white, and green are <laughs> standard aviation lights, right? Red and green are the wings and white is the nose or tail, right? I mean, I believe you. I I don't know. I think that's know right. It's that something like that. I don't know if that's exactly it, but those are the like standard <clears throat> colors. Blue is weird. Uh reports since Thursday indicate a southern movement of activity. Possible explanations include a new pipeline proposed in the Julesburg basin. Uh, the area is Northeast Colorado on the Colorado, Nebraska border. The counties where the sightings have taken place neighbor the basin. Additionally, there are several existing gas pipelines running through Eastern Colorado. That could be flight could be infrared gas detection. So they're suggesting the possibility of a company using drones for infrared gas detection to see if there are like leaks in this pipeline. Okay. But the next line still doesn't explain why a company would not step up and advise of inspection activity, which is what we were saying earlier. And in no fucking conceivable way would you need 16 of those flying in a grid pattern at the same time. Or, you know, looking in people's windows or looking in people's <laughs> windows was literally hey, about to house? be my next sentence. You got, you got a gas leak in there. <laughs> hey, Hey, uh, you got, y'all got gas leaks in there. Oh no. You just, uh, you just showering. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. <laughs> the Your fuck? hot water heater looks good. Carry on. Get out of here, man. Why are you looking at my butt drone? <laughs> fuck out of uh, here. Last line of this brief says Northcom and NORAD do not have any information other than they are aware of the reports. So that's okay. That's U S missile defense shit. Um, I mean, it makes sense that they wouldn't know what's going on. Kind of weird that they were aware of the reports when the FAA approached them about it. Although I don't know what the news coverage was like. Maybe this stuff was just like out there publicly at that point. Yeah. Um, also of importance, Julie Kearns at the FAA, please change your email signature from, to something other than comic sans. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> perfect. No, never change. I Honestly, love, never change. We need people like you out here. I love that part of F, uh, FOIA requests where you get to see the stupid shit that government employees do with their email. Oh, big time. It's my favorite part. Big time. Uh, The next day, we have an email. So this is December 31st of 2019. We have an email from FAA Aviation Safety Officer Michael Sanford. Um, The drones are reported to have six-foot wingspans, and there are several reports that indicate the drones are operating in coordination with a, quote, big drone that may be stationary in the area. Okay, what the fuck? Who sent this email again? This is an FAA aviation safety officer, Michael Sanford. What in God's name would you have been (laughs) able to designate as like the evidence for that being the case? That Ah. there is an Independence Day level mothership (laughs) for these motherfuckers. What is happening, dude? Because that's how I talk. How is this not a bigger story? I'm fucked up right now. There is also an unverified report of the larger quote. He put drone in quotes this time. The larger quote drone potentially landing and taking back off from an airport in Imperial, Nebraska. This larger drone also described as a quote mothership 
is said to hover while all others fly around in close proximity. The larger drone is about five to six feet in diameter with a cylindrical shape and red front. So now we have a mothership hovering in one spot. What? Mm Mm-hmm. Also, how is there not like, like, let's go down the road of it landing at an airport in Nebraska. Yeah, right. There's like a lot of people you could interview and a lot of like security camera footage you could watch to like go verify that possibility. Yep. We then have an email from uh, someone with the Kansas Highway Patrol the first week of January who had a sighting in Oakley, Kansas. Excuse me. He said one of the drones had a really bright light on it, like a spotlight. That drone stayed relatively stationary, uh, and there were anywhere from 10 to 15 drones that flew all kinds of patterns around the stationary drone. At one point, one of those drones flew directly over his house. He had night vision goggles with him, so he tried to look at it. Some of the lights on the drone drowned out a good picture, but he said he thought he saw four rotors on the drone as well as a horizontal stabilizer or wing. The wing appeared to be about 10 feet in length. He said the drone was about 200 feet in the air and made no sound at all, even though the wind was calm. There's a 10-foot drone flying over a highway patrol person's house making no sound. Thanks. I hate it. (laughs) We then... Dude... uh, yeah, go ahead. All right, not to be whatever, but like this is ranking pretty high for me right now on my like what the fuck stories we've ever done. Yes. Like this is like very very weird and fucked up and there is a ton of official confirmation that a pretty weird and fucked up thing happened. And also mm-hmm. we have no explanation for this very weird and fucked up official thing. And also no one paid any attention to it. Yeah, after, that's what I'm, how yeah. is this not like a fucking front page story right now? Just based on the shit we're talking about. I don't know. Hopefully we're just very wrong about something somehow, but or, or we're really early to it. I guess. I mean the this stuff, the FOIA stuff was published I mean, I prepped it for last week. Yeah, July 15th was when, so like almost two weeks now that this stuff has been hanging out on the internet. I haven't seen anything else about it other than this article with all the links to the FOIA stuff. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. For a bunch of people, it's just like, yeah, that is pretty fucked up, but it's just not registering on my Richter scale right now. Yeah, exactly. Um, So it's going to get weirder. Uh, we have a January 8th sighting in Elgin, Illinois. So now we're like, we're pretty far north and east of where this stuff originally was happening. Yep. Um, I don't know where in... Illinois Elgin is, but we skipped a whole state at least. Cause I don't think there were, there was anything in Missouri that I've seen. I, uh, not that I remember. Yeah. What the fuck? And Elgin is, that's like, that's a Chicago suburb. So we're way North, even in Illinois. Anyway, this says, um, I lost my spot. Okay. This was from a, It was reported by phone to the Elgin Police Department. Um, But it wasn't, it was, uh, whatever. Anyway, we have stuff as far north as as Illinois. Yeah. And in in response to that, there's an email from, uh, this is between an FAA administrator and the FAA chief of staff, Angela Stubblefield. That says, quote, uh, the administrator guy says, quote, not too long ago, we would have called these UFOs. And the FAA chief of staff responds, yep, 
but now everything is a drone. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So there, I mean, the word UFO shows up in an email between an FAA administrator and an FAA chief of staff who responds, yep, now everything's a drone. Damn. <laughs> Dude, uh, that's fucking crazy. Also, we might need to get motherfucking Linda Moulton Howe on the case. Oh, God. Because this shit just keeps getting worse. I'm nervous. An FAA congressional relations officer emailed uh, the FAA chief of staff that they were hearing, quote, hearing from the local Farm Bureau that the drones have been disturbing cattle operations and may have caused injuries. So the drones that the FAA is saying we used to call these UFOs are injuring cattle. Read me the exact language they use one more time. Quote, hearing from the Farm Bureau that the drones have been disturbing cattle operations and may have caused injuries. That's from the Congressional Relations Officer at the FAA to the FAA chief of staff, Angela Stubblefield. Um, and that's Again, coming f- from uh, guard rep. Hmm. That's coming from Colorado government somewhere. Those initial reports. And again, like m- my brain goes, okay, there's an additional layer of investigation that immediately should take place related to that information okay who'd you talk to (laughs) Mm -hmm. which farmers what did they say what did they see let's go take a look let's go take a look let's call linda it it doesn't say let's get prometheus entertainment out here never film a quick reality whatever you do never call linda is it possible and if so (laughs) and if so (laughs) um but like it doesn't necessarily say that there was injuries to the cattle. It just said caused injuries. Could have been I mean, a person. Is that better? No, it's not. But I'm saying <laughs> that's, that's why worse. it requires more information. I'm saying we need to investigate this because it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Did it fall on a human? Did it fall right. on a cow? Did it did pick it up a cow? Shoot a laser down from the sky and cut it, a cow in half? Like, what did the it fuck? Suck all of its blood out and break its legs? It, yeah, right. what are we talking about? Yeah, you can't just say injuries have happened. That's like the, it, some fucking mafia shit, bro. Did it carve out its butthole? Like, there's a yeah. wide range of possibilities here. And, and I think, I think <laughs> it has pretty big implications depending on where we're falling on that spectrum. Yes. Yes. What the very, fuck, <laughs> what? very this different is responses. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's raining, motherfuckers. Uh, okay, the mystery drone investigation reached its public climax on January sixth with a meeting convened by Morgan County Sheriff Dave Martin in Brush, Colorado. In cor- according to FAA notes, the closed door meeting was attended by seventy seven people. Damn. Federal representation included personnel from the FAA, FBI, Department Department of Homeland Security, Air Force Office of Special Investigations from F.E. Warren Air Force Base, and the officer of Senator Gardner, who is uh, represents Colorado, I believe. Um, yes, Corey Gardner, U.S. Senator from Colorado. That's also who was reporting the uh, cattle stuff. State Got and it. local representation included sheriff office personnel, sheriff's office personnel from 12 Colorado counties and six Nebraska counties, the Nebraska State Patrol, the Colorado Information Analysis Center, and Colorado Fish and Wildlife. Got a lot of people together. Yeah. From a lot of places. Um. From that meeting, uh, I, I got to find exactly where this is from in the, I think it's from the meeting notes. Um, 
I don't remember who said it, but as far as I know, this is a quote from somebody that was at the meeting. The reports dried up around the middle of January. We have not received any information that enabled us to determine what exactly it was that people were seeing and if they were drones, who was flying them. See, and that's so much wilder in its own right to be like, I mean, that's that's the second full acknowledgement that they had been referred to as drones. But... No one is like, oh, we don't know. Yeah, but no one is. And they have no some very is, non-drone characteristics like being silent and being yeah. 10 feet across and flying for hours at a time. And fuck it. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? Um, They have some emails from between the FAA and the Air Force. Um, But they're way more redacted than the other stuff. But the Office of Deputy Chief of Staff of the Air Force and Nuclear Integration, as well as Air Force Global Strike Command and the Air Force Office of Special Investigations, were all queried by the FAA and assured each other that no component of the Air Force was responsible for the aerial activity or aware of its origin. So they asked fucking everybody at the air force and nobody knew anything now, not it not it not yeah it, not it now would they tell you if they were right i think like maybe one possible explanation for this is it is some secret governmental shit that the faa didn't need to know about but here's the thing dude like, yes, we've done some stupid things in our military branches and government, but if it was a thing that needed to be secret in any way, shape or form, you're not like, I mean, come on, like if, if the Air Force was trying to do something secretly. I mean, they didn't. This was not secretive at all. You, it you wasn't had a even, dozen drones out every night for two weeks. It, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like, and what? At the end, they're going to be like, oops, nobody was supposed to know about that. Shh, guys, <laughs> don't tell. Don't tell. Like, that seems so much less likely to me that they would just be but, doing something so blatant and then be like, wasn't us. Like, I don't know. Like, if you're going to go test something, go test something. But don't just like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, so is, yes. But if you needed to test drones or something like them in that type of setting, like maybe there's something about what they're testing that can't be done in a more isolated place. That can't be done in a more secretive way. I don't know what that would be exactly. Yeah, I was going to say, but what is that? Like, what is that? Maybe you're like, if you're testing drones uh, that can self-flying drones that are that use certain landmarks to navigate right something like that you have the one report of of the drone appearing to use the road for navigation these are they're all flying between two and three hundred feet it's like when the uh when like the waymo and like fucking google cars get sighted in san francisco with the weird scaly exteriors on them because they're trying to disguise them while they're like learning how to autonomously drive in the streets. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, the, yeah. you have the, you have the timing too. It's all at night, right? It's all between six and 10 PM. Maybe they're struggling specifically with these things, self navigating around dusk. I don't, you know, like maybe there are yeah. some specific requirements where like, you can't go do this in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the day with a crew of 10 air force employees, you know? Okay. But but okay, but here's another thing though about that is like there has to be a level of cooperation between the Air Force and the FAA on a regular basis. I I have no idea. I, I, I would mean, think I would think so, yeah. If if a if a secretive Air Force thing is fucking flying through the sky and the FAA doesn't know about it and they're sending a normal commercial airliner through that area. We got problems. I mean, it's, well, they they apparently stayed under 300 feet, although 
we saw a video that of drones that were way over 300 feet. For sure we did. And also, I'm just saying at like a grander scale outside of this instance specifically, there has to be some sort of communication and agreement oh, between sure. the FAA yeah, yeah, yeah. and right, the Air right. Force In for general, them to be yes. able to have those types of conversations. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's weird to me that this one specifically would be a conversation where they're like very publicly saying to the FAA, like, we didn't do it. And the FAA is like, we asked the Air Force and they didn't know anything about it. Like, yeah. it seems to me that there has to have been incidents of this happening in the past where both parties have either had a way to bury it or had a way to go like, it's top secret and it's fine. Everybody's fine. You know, like. You th- never get that answer, though. No, but I mean, I'm just I guess what I'm saying is like, it's significantly more suspicious to me that there was no it, it appears that there was no communication at all. Yeah. And there is no official understanding or response because I know you're right. Like you don't get that. You don't get that. But at the same time, like it just seems like such a blatant public way of doing a thing that goes way beyond any of our normal, like concepts of like testing an aircraft, you know? Right. Uh, The FBI and department of Homeland security, couldn't or didn't get involved because of the quote lack of any obvious criminal element. Sure. Which sort of kind of makes sense. Yeah. Um, emails and memos show that the FAA pursued inquiries into many commercial educational and other possibilities, all leading to dead ends. And final statement from the FAA public affairs manager Quote, we have not received any information that enabled us to determine what it was that people were reporting and if they were drones, who was flying them. So their official stance at the end of investigating this shit for like three weeks, two weeks was we don't even know what they are. Bro. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Going back to like that original point that I made about the FAA being the ones to like, I mean, like, bro, they would just lie if it was the fucking, if it was the air force and the air force was like, yeah, we were testing some shit and we need you guys to like do whatever the FAA would be like, yeah. Um, X, Y, and Z mining company that we just fucking made up out of thin air was doing prospecting in the area. And we had a miscommunication about fucking, well, licensure like i don't know i'm i'm fucking bullshitting right now but like there would be some sort of easy throwaway excuse because the faa is the fucking administration that's supposed to know what's happening in the skies at all times i think the the most telling or like one of the strongest indicators that it was not the air force or a military group or our government for that matter is that it hit the news as hard as it did Right, because they can this, usually pull the plug on that if they have this to. This story was everywhere for two weeks. Yep. This was a national news story. They were sending TV crews out to try and film this shit every night. Like, right. If this was the Air Force, if this was Homeland Security, whatever, that they would have just gotten a phone call from somebody and been like, hey, uh, people would, instead of doing that, how about you don't? And they'd go, People would okay. not have been running with that story for two weeks. Yeah, yeah exactly. So I don't know what that leaves. Like the, the the commercial aspect doesn't make sense why you wouldn't cooperate with the FAA. You obviously have shitloads of money. Like these, a six foot drone has got, I mean, we talked about this before, but I mean, that's got to be a, what, a million dollars a pop? We I think, I think we settled on like if they're high tech, as we think they are like anywhere between a half a million to a million dollars a piece. And you're talking about seeing formations of 16 at a time. Like, right. So if you're dropping, you know, five, 10 mil on just equipment plus whatever else you're doing, the the permitting is going to be too much. You know, like it's not a, it's not a money issue, obviously. And it's also an issue of like, this is the other thing is like, you knew who, whoever you is, if it's if it's you're saying you, whoever was flying these things, if they were yeah, indeed drones, uh, yeah, like 
you knew people were going to see him. <laughs> you know, right. like well, you were you, flying over and next to and around people's houses. You were doing it every night in a predictable way for two weeks. 16 at a time. Like you, yeah. you had to have known that this was going to attract attention. Right. And that's what I mean about like, the, like f- f- for the, for us to say that a government entity would do something so obvious and blatantly attention causing and then be like, wasn't us. It just seems like a fucking goofy, a goofy thing for a commercial group. It feels really dumb because I actually think the only, the only thing I can think of is if, if a company was trying to do something and have retroactively been like, yeah, maybe there was a bunch of illegal shit that we kind of did while we were doing that experimenting or trying or playing. The FBI and DHS said that the no laws were broken. Yeah. The fucking FBI cleared it. But maybe it's, but maybe like they don't want to have to answer questions now. Here's another thing, dude. Why were they in fucking five states? I know. Five states over the course of two weeks. We're not talking about the same drones, uh, right? It was four, right? Well, it what was do you mean? it was four states, wasn't it? Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, and Illinois. Yeah, but Assuming, I guess I'm saying over an area of because you got oh, Missouri sure, sure. in between there. You got yeah, you got to go through Missouri or you got to go through Missouri, yeah. and those aren't the same drones flying on the same night in one state and the other, are they? I mean, are we talking, are we literally they were in the about, air for hours at a time? It could be. I mean, I guess, but like, but, but, but think about it though. Like these things aren't flying at the speed of a fucking like 747. You know, these aren't like 400 mile an hour drones. Are they not? We don't know. I mean, I guess yeah, we don't know. can't even but tell like, us what they are. I feel like physics would tell us that a propeller, like a propeller propelled device, <laughs> <laughs> a propelled device. <laughs> No, because propulsion can be other things. Is it I'm propeller propulsion? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, we all know what argu- you mean. Just keep going. My whole argument just fucking went in the <laughs> toilet. A propeller pro- 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 <laughs> propelled. Fuck. Now I can't What's even up say with it. Your- Jesus Christ. <laughs> A thing with just propellers can't you go that far that fast go. in one night. There we go. So you're saying there must have been even more drones if indeed the Illinois ones... Or Illinois sighting was the same thing. That would be that would be my suspicion that if if we're talking about if these sightings are seeing the same thing, some in the same night or same twenty four hour period of time, we're talking about these things either being coordinated and coming up from multiple different locations, or we're talking about them covering huge swaths of space yeah, that thousands we don't, of miles thousands of miles that we currently don't have any understanding of a drone being able to do on its own accord much less 16 of them at a time and another thing is if they were doing <laughs> that if they were crossing those huge expanses of space wouldn't there have been even more sightings of them because yeah. they would have been i mean 16 I mean, drones going from illinois to fucking colorado my my In, initial thought is that the Illinois thing is unrelated. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Somebody else saw something weird in Illinois and they're like, You're seeing drones, I saw a drone. You're seeing weird shit, I saw weird shit. But you're still but you're still talking about a centralized area of like at least a tri state area. Yeah, it's still probably a couple hundred miles if we're just talking about the Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska stuff. Which to me is impressive in its own right to to be able to cover a, like a few hundred square miles nightly for weeks on end with, I mean, I don't know, like you be feeling these things one at a time. Like, I don't know. It just seems like it, it seems like right. an operation. Like there would have to be a lot of people and care and effort and maintenance and fueling and, and millions upon millions of dollars. Right. So how For is what? it just like everyone's like fucking shrug emoji about it? Like it just is yeah. like, uh, well, we don't know. The wildest part to me is the FAA's repeated statement of we don't know what they are. Whenever right. they say drones, they couch it with or hedge with if they were drones. Right. If they're not, what in the fuck are we talking about? What does that mm-hmm. open the door to? Right. 
What right. else does that? Right. <laughs> like nothing, and, right? And also and also what do they gain by saying if they're drones? Is that just being ex- like super careful because they weren't observing it firsthand or is that implying that they have knowledge that it may be something else but they don't yeah. know? Or just like acknowledging that some of the reports are describing things that drones can't do. Right. As far as technologically we're aware of. Yeah. Dude, this whole thing is super fucked. <laughs> like extra <laughs> top notch. Oh, I'm nervous. Fucked. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're welcome. I, I genuinely don't understand how the FAA can put out a statement like that. And a f- and all this FOIA shit can come out. And this isn't like, like, how is the Times not sending somebody? Like I said, go talk to the ranchers. Go talk to the farmers. They're they're too busy with fucking to the stars, man. Go talk to fucking the airport in Nebraska that said the fucking mothership of these things fucking landed made have and then took off there? again. Yeah. What <laughs> are you talking about? You can't just say a mo- there's a mothership for these drones. <laughs> they use, they use it, the word mothership. And it That's not even it potenti- us like yeah. extrapolating from it. They use the word mothership and the word UFO in emails from one FAA employee to another. And you can't just fucking say that shit and say that you have reports of it happening at a specific airport in Nebraska and then be like, "But yeah, who knows, right?" Like, what no, the no wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the logical end of that statement. The logical end of that is, and now we're going to that airport with five people to interview literally everyone who worked on any of those nights between that four week period. And we're confiscating yep. every single security camera footage that was related to the fucking, the day of that potential mothership landing. Like what the fuck? No, I can't stop <laughs> yelling. Cause that's how I talk. You can't. Here's the thing, man. This is the this is the next iteration. He's so worked up. No, this is the next iteration of. You can't just say stuff, you know, (laughs) right? Because it goes both ways, right? Like we talk about it in relationship to people like Linda Moulton Howe and Dave Politis, who say a bunch of bullshit with conviction, with no evidence. And I go, and we've said it all the time. You can't just say stuff. And you can't just this, make it up out of thin air. This, this is the opposite. You can't just see stuff. Yes. If you see <laughs> Yes, exactly. But it's also like, you can't, like, if we got fucking hundreds of people and hundreds of sightings and all this shit has happened with video evidence and all these people, you've got fucking government employees who've seen this shit. You can't see all this shit and just say, yeah, there was a mothership that landed in Nebraska. Crazy, right? Anyway, we don't know what it was. Like, no, dude, you can't just say that. It doesn't stop like that. That's not the end of that story. (laughs) Ryan. It doesn't work like that. We got to go. We got baseball to watch. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah, dude, you're you're heated. I love it. Somebody's got to take this baton, (laughs) dude. Like, I'm not sure this shit is not us, but... Somebody needs to. I'm not done. I'm going to go fucking at mention a bunch of fucking like news <laughs> outlets and be like, what are you fucking doing? All right, Dude, buddy. I'm going to, I'm going to hop on the at what if pod Twitter while we're watching baseball. Go ham, please. And I'm going to go, go nuts. Ham. ABC news, NBC news. <laughs> what are y'all doing? That's a mothership in Nebraska. You dicks go find it. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, we love you guys. It's at What If Pod on all the socials. You can go find my tweets uh, if you go to at What If Pod. (laughs) Uh, Patreon.com slash What If Podcast. We do two episodes a week. You can go get the second one there for only five bucks a month, plus access to a back catalog of over 100 episodes. It's high at whatifpodcast.com if you want to email us. 612-246-4614. If you want to leave us a voicemail, iTunes reviews are helpful. We appreciate them. Uh, shop.whatifpodcast.com Spencer finally got his bucket hat <laughs> it came you, It came from Latvia but it got to me let's go Latvian bucket hats <laughs> oh put it on the list bro the Latvian bucket hats oh. alright fuck this shit I'm out we love you oh, yelling, you like yelling, woman? see you next week <laughs> <laughs>